We are eight days away from the 2021 NFL Draft, and if you haven't subscribed to our Chat Sports main YouTube channel, you're making a huge mistake. Because when the NFL Draft gets here from April 29th to May 1st, Chat Sports will be live for every round, breaking down every single pick. We are the most watched NFL Draft on YouTube, and as you know, we like to have fun here at Chat Sports, so we are the most fun NFL Draft on YouTube as well. So join the party, subscribe today, hit that big red button down below, and go to youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Welcome into the 49ers Report on Chat Sports. I am Chase Senior. Coming up, we're going to take a look at the three NFL Draft quarterback prospects that could be available for the 49ers at pick number three and what anonymous NFL quarterback coaches are saying about each one. This all comes from a fascinating article by Bruce Feldman of Fox Sports in The Athletic. Over the last month, he spoke with two dozen NFL coaches and scouts, and the point of the exercise to see which prospects coming up in the draft are popping off the page, who's rising up everybody's boards. And he spoke to NFL quarterback coaches specifically about the top quarterback prospects. So I want to start off by looking at Mac Jones and what an anonymous quarterback coach in the NFL had to say about him, and then we'll get to Justin Fields and Trey Lance as well. Starting off with Mac Jones, this is what that anonymous quarterback coach had to say, quote, if I had to win right now this year, he's the most advanced quarterback of any of them. I think Trevor's the best. I'm co-signing on him, but his system adjustment will be much bigger than Mac. Jones is going to walk in day one and just have to flip terminology because he's going to know pro football. He's been coached by Steve Sarkeesian. He understands run checks, understands moving protections. Not that these others don't but Mac Jones is on a different level. And I tend to agree with a lot of what that quarterback coach had to say. Here's my take on Mac Jones. I think he is the most ready to play quarterback prospect of all of them right now from day one. I really like his deep ball accuracy as well as his anticipation on his throws at the short, intermediate, and deep levels. But I do think that Mac Jones has a clear ceiling, doesn't have the strongest arm, is not the greatest athlete, and he's not going to wow you with any of his athletic intangibles or his arm strength. But why I think Kyle Shanahan really likes Mac Jones, he wants his quarterbacks to stay on schedule. He doesn't want a quarterback that is going to freelance and try to improvise. And Mac Jones, if you watch him last year at Alabama, one read, two read, ball out, quick anticipation, and made fast reads, and he stayed on schedule. And I think in Kyle Shanahan's offense, he wants his quarterback prospect to do that rather than just try to extend plays and make the wow play. And when you look at Mac Jones' numbers from last year, it's hard not to be overly impressed. His completion percentage, I don't care who he was throwing to, if he was throwing to multiple first-round picks. 77% completion percentage is elite, 4,500 yards, 41 touchdowns and four interceptions. What does that show you right there? He's very accurate, but he's also smart and he doesn't make mistakes. But I just can't gather why the 49ers would trade multiple first round picks in the future, exhaust all of their resources to move up for a player that they didn't have to move up for. I think Mac Jones would have been available when the 49ers were originally scheduled to pick. I don't know why they'd move up to pick a guy who has a clear ceiling. If I'm Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, I want a quarterback prospect that has boatloads of potential because I want to tap into that. So the faithful, get into the comments, hop on board and join the show and let me know your rating of Mac Jones as a prospect and grade them for me in the comments from 1 to 100. We are eight days away from the NFL Draft, and if you want some fresh 49ers gear, you won't find a better deal out there than this one right here. How about a hat and shirt combo that was almost $50 is now on sale for $30, all thanks to our friends at Fanatic. So if you go to chatsports.com slash 49 combo, you're able to rock this deal and rock this hat and this shirt combo and look fresh on draft day. So I will be sure to put this link in the description as well as the comments, and you can get $20 off one of the best deals that you'll find on Fanatics by going to chatsports.com slash 49 combo. 
Let's move on to Justin Fields now, and this is what another anonymous quarterback coach in the NFL had to say about the former Ohio State signal caller. Quote, when you hear people talking about how well he processes, you don't see read progressions where it's bang, bang, bang. He's also playing on a different level. You don't know how much of that Ohio State taught him. You think, give me a year with this guy and it'll all come together because of his natural athleticism and ability. I love the guy, but if he has to play this year, that's scary. Here's my take on Fields. All of this fake news and this fake narrative out there that Justin Fields isn't an accurate passer, it's ridiculous. It's baloney. It's not true. Because last year at Ohio State, he completed more than 70% of his passes. And when I spoke in the past with quarterback coach John Filippo of the Chicago Bears, he told me the most important traits in a quarterback, decision-making, timing, accuracy. And I think Fields has all of those traits. He showed so much upside in that college football playoff victory against Clemson when he threw six touchdowns, deep ball accuracy, quick accuracy on intermediate throws. And when he had to make quick decisions, he was able to do that as well. And he took that vicious shot in the ribs. And if anybody wants to say Justin Fields has character concerns, he doesn't take the game seriously, or he's not tough, that shot to the ribs would put any normal folk in the hospital. Justin Fields continued to deal like a straight-up baller. This guy is super gifted, 6'3", 220-plus pounds, runs a 4'4", and I think you combine his arm talent with his athleticism, that has the potential to be a very scary future with him and Kyle Shanahan and that 49ers offense. And if Justin Fields needs development, like that quarterback coach had just mentioned, that's fine because even though you have a win-now roster that could advance to the Super Bowl, if you elect to keep Jimmy Garoppolo, you can afford to put Justin Fields on the bench and give him a year to develop. And if Jimmy G suffers another injury, like he has throughout his entire career because those injuries have been problematic, you can put Justin Fields into the starting lineup. You won't miss a beat, and your offense might be more explosive. So grade Justin Fields for me as a prospect. A, B, C, D, or F. I'm going to go A- minus on this one. Lastly, let's hit on Trey Lance. This is what an anonymous quarterback coach in the league had to say about the North Dakota State quarterback who is a prodigy and a polarizing prospect in this NFL draft. Quote, he's a tough evaluation. His maturity is A+. Plus. His football IQ is A+. Plus. He's a team guy, very self-aware. He just needs to play more. He's a little like Josh Allen coming out of Wyoming where it could be rocky the first few years, but you trust him. Josh took three years Josh had that amazing arm it's like him Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers have the biggest arms in the league but I do think Trey is a lot more refined coming out than Josh Allen was I think he'll be fine even if he doesn't reach his full potential I think he's spot on in that analysis I compare Trey Lance's arm talent his ability and his need for development to Josh Allen because Josh Allen at Wyoming was completing around 55% of his passes and last year that completion percentage in year three went up nearly 20 completion points and we've never really seen a development like that in NFL history. My take on Trey Lance, fascinating prospect. This guy has boomer bust potential and if you get it right, he could be otherworldly. When you watch him on tape from a size and weight standpoint, athleticism in terms of him running the football and throwing it you watch and say wow good god this guy could be a stud and if you get it right we're looking at a quarterback that for the next 10 to 15 years could wow you across the nfl in a sense like patrick mahomes did because he has that type of innate special ability he does need to develop a little bit because he is raw and he needs to fine tune his mechanics specifically his footwork his feet can get out of whack sometimes and that leads to inaccurate passes and i kind of pointed to the inexperience that he had at North Dakota State, only 308 career pass attempts. That's a little bit of a concern for me. I think he obviously clearly has much more upside than a guy like Mitchell Trubisky, who had one year of reps at North Carolina. Trey Lance, a much more talented prospect, but the plus here, even though he did only have 308 career pass attempts, Trey Lance was running a pro system and he had authority of North Dakota State's offense because he was able to make checks, make audibles, 
and change the play at the line of scrimmage. So translating to the NFL, I do like the smarts and the football IQ there. And in 2019, he had one of the best seasons of any college quarterback in recent memory. Completed almost 67% of his passes. Now, the passing yards, they don't jump off the page at you, but they were good enough. But here's what I'm looking at. 42 total touchdowns and zero interceptions. So yes, he might be raw, he might need development, but if you get it right, and if you give him time to develop, especially with a quarterback guru in Kyle Shanahan, my gosh, Trey Lance could take over the league. So we talk about Justin Fields, Trey Lance, and Mac Jones, the faithful. I need you to speak up with the NFL draft on the horizon. Do you want Justin Fields? Type JF. Do you want Trey Lance? Type TL. Do you want the 49ers to pick Mac Jones? Type MJ. Leading up to the NFL draft, we are going to provide you with all of your 49ers coverage on the 49ers report. Leading up to, during, after the draft, we're going to break down all the draft prospects that the 49ers bring into San Francisco, as well as the undrafted free agents that they sign. And last week, we surpassed 34,000 subscribers. Can we get to 35K before the NFL draft? Hop on board, join the show, join the channel, subscribe now by hitting that big red button down below, or go to youtube.com slash 49ers TV.